Bigger's never been better for Sweetwater. We've always been dedicated to that and the people behind it. Every day I get emails and I try to answer every one of them. When are you coming to Texas? When are you coming to Louisiana? You know, even up in, in Pennsylvania and uh, New York, you know, it just seems to permeate more and more. I'm from New Jersey. Yeah, I'm from Philly. I can honestly say in the 16 years that we've been brewing beer, and I'm sure my wholesale partners will attest to this, we've never been able to keep up with capacity. Obviously we had some work to do and uh, we, we couldn't quite make as much beer as we thought we could, or, or we were selling a lot more beer than we could keep up with. So once and for all, we're going to try to fix that problem. We're brewing 52 times in a week right now, and we're running the brew house 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That's not good for the beer, it's not good for the people. So the new brew house will allow us to brew larger volumes of beer at one single time, but more importantly allow us to slow down and pay better attention to the quality of our beer. We always try to be true to the product, our consumers, our community, and then ourselves. And we're all excited to have, have this going and not have to work 24-7. You know, um, back to kind of a normal work week and be able to really focus on um, honing in the quality of our brews. Also, we're going to be more automated. So as opposed to running around flipping valves, everything should be part of the system. So um, basically, we'll just be overseeing everything as opposed to doing 100% of the work. Working a, a regular work week is going to make uh, my technicians happy. A large part of the expansion uh, for us was increasing that speed and the efficiency in which we could bottle so our quality will go up and the speed that we can package can go up so we can keep up with all the demand going on in the southeast for Sweetwater. Um, the reason we've uh, really been, I guess, really slowly progressing to these new markets is because of our capacity. So now that we do have that capacity elevated for us, we still want to stay, stay deep-rooted um, in, in the uh, Mid-South and the South. We'll work our way up the eastern seaboard, I think, in Q1 of 2013, meaning we'll go into Virginia. That'll be our first new state in probably three years. We're on the map, and that's just really exciting. So uh, there's definitely some pride involved in there. It's going to be a big change for, for all of us, the brewers. Um, we're all excited to, to work on, on such a large system. It's one of the biggest, I think. Um, in, in craft brewing in the U.S. We're in uh, the six states in the Mid-South, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, and then Florida. Collectively, our industry grew over 15% nationwide last year. Sweetwater grew, we grew 23%, and I think we could have doubled that had we had enough beer. We're putting in a new packaging hall, a uh, new fermentation cellar, and a new brew house, which is where we are now. So the newest uh, addition that we've got in this expansion that you're going to see are these thousand barrel tanks. You're going to see four thousand barrel bright tanks and then ten thousand barrel fermentation tanks. Those suckers are two thirds of the tank is above the roof line. Last year we did 100,000 barrels and with this new brew house we should be able to get up to about 400,000 barrels in the not so distant future. We were just getting done with this expansion and that will allow us to quadruple our production. But what that really allows us to do is slow down a lot of our processes. We feel like there's going to be some quality improvements just because of the, the more advanced nature of the breweries. Um, allows us to control more of the process and create a more consistent product. Uh, this expansion gave us the opportunity to grow as a lab and to implement new testing procedures. You know, I think we continue to do what we do best, which is people, beer, quality of life. We follow what's right for those, those uh, things that are important to us and ultimately we end up where we are. Uh, with the expansion of this facility, they're going to go from being able to produce 100,000 barrels of beer to half a million barrels of beer in the city of Atlanta. And the city of Atlanta is excited about it and looking forward to it. 23% growth in 2011 is a phenomenal story of success. And I congratulate you and I join the mayor in simply saying to you that we hold you up as one of those good examples of a combination of a dream, hard work, and an atmosphere of cooperation in a community and in a state that allows you to succeed. And when this is all said and done, I think Freddie intends to probably add more than 25 private sector employees to the payroll. So he deserves a big round of applause. So we stick to the fundamentals, which are quality people and community, and we'll see where that takes us.